Yeah, he hit the post three times and uh, stole my penalty claim. Um, just one of those days. Uh, disappointed with the performance, so the lack of urgency. Uh, it's the angriest that I've been. I mean, Ottawa created very little of anything as an attacking threat, uh, attacking threat, and then even less when they were down to ten men, and we didn't show any urgency until we throw Hanson on. You know, you're asking a 17-year-old to want to change a game and. I want more from the players. You know, I, I, we had a go at them at half time and saying we need more urgency. I mean, I cannot blame the heat, nothing. It's the same for both teams. And uh, if we think that uh, if they're not going to run here, they'll certainly run midweek, I can assure you. So I'm, I'm really disappointed. This is two points lost here. It feels like a, feels like a loss today, for sure. Just a matter of sometimes when you go up a man, uh, you know, the, the mindset changes with, with the team, I guess. Well, it certainly does from the defending team. You know, they, it's it's never easy to play against ten men. But you look at the way that Chivas went about their, their work last night when they had a, uh, the Whitecaps had a man set off. They, they just knocked the ball about with a bit of urgency and, and hit the hit the Whitecaps uh, for two. So we're looking for that urgency. You know, Milton came on and he gave us a little bit more urgency in possession. Uh, and Hansen came on and did well. But we got into some great areas today and a poor quality finish or a poor quality cross. And you know the, the guys are playing for their, their places here now. We've got good players coming back from injury and stuff. So uh, they'll, uh, I'm really disappointed. It's the angriest that I've been since I've been the head coach in this club. How do you get past this? Do you kind of just uh, move on, or do you dwell on this for a little bit and let the guys try to learn from this? Oh, they'll find out about it on Tuesday. Yeah. That's uh, <laughs> that's uh, I can, you can be rest assured about it because uh, you know I'm not accepting that we, we've had four preseason games. Yeah. Uh, we finished the fitter against Seattle Sounders last Sunday in warmer conditions. It was 32 Celsius. It was 28 degrees here today. So there's no excuses from my from my book. The, the guys are well prepared. They know the strengths and the weaknesses of of every opposition player that comes in here. And uh, you know, from a defensive point of view, we were fairly sound. Beto's Navarro's made an excellent debut here today. He played very well beside Albert Watson. Uh, Kareem Moses, nice and steady again at left fullback. So. Uh, from a defensive point of view, the team is, is sound, and uh, I thought Christian Rodales also played very well in his debut and will be a, a major addition to our squad. But uh, there's other guys within the group that uh, need to pick it up a little bit here because we've got 17 games. We could have gone right into the middle of the pack here today, uh, jumped up two places in the league, and we didn't because uh, we, we have to show more pass. We have to show more of a killer instinct here. I was going to ask you about the new guys coming in here. Is it, is it tough to kind of, you know, uh, come in and make their debut when they really don't know? No, the, uh, Christian has played in uh, in the last two games, so he's well aware. He's trained with us for the last couple of weeks. Um, uh, if anyone would have struggled today, it would have been Beto because he's just arrived and trained with us on Saturday. But uh, I thought he, he looked the accomplished player that we feel he is and one of the main reasons we brought him in here. So. Uh, no, I, I'm, I'm not making any excuses. It was a poor Eddie's performance, uh, and, and for me, it's uh, two points definitely dropped here today. Was it a conscious decision to put on younger legs when uh, Ottawa lost uh, Richter? Or R Richter? Yeah, it was uh, certainly Hansen gives you something that nobody in Canada does. In all honesty, he's, a, he's a, one of the most talented young players uh, that we have in Canada. So their back four were tiring a little bit. The wee man pops into little pockets of space and, and as you saw there, I mean, he was just two or three inches away from scoring a winner for us. But he looks dangerous when he gets it because he wants to be brave and run at people. You know, we just want to go side to side at times when we should be looking further forward. And it's it's really disappointing given the work that we've put in since the Carolina game that uh, we, we just didn't show any urgency in front of goal here today.